ang ating mga early ano early early birth ang mga mga mabuting estudyante tingnan ko nga kung sino ang ating mga top school kids ngayon Happy Sabbath guys ano napapansin niyo sa music yes thank god it's Sabbath diba how fitting the song hindi tayo ha pero habang nagkakano tayo Sino ang ating top orders? Can you see? Si... Ang unang-una talaga, number one, si J.R.I. Bell. Hi! Number two, Jens de Guzman. Number three, Cynthia Yulip. Number four, Karen Silva. Number five, Honey Ardenosa. Number six, si Bing Diso. Number seven, GBB Paliso. Number nine, Corfiliera Blanc. Na nagre-reklamo ka sa tanwara. Ah, she's a top ten. And ano na, number, ayun na, wala na naman na po. Number nine na lang ulit para si Kunado, Nathan Fernandez. And number ten, si Dr. Boots. Pero ba nga po si Del Sardana, si Jersey Veran, Mark Avila, magandang hapon sa inyo. Si Elizabeth Blanco, si Rowena Pereira, uh, si Lin Lin, um, Giorgio Cabanilla, si Janet Villegas. Ah, I love ko, sabi mo may trabaho ko. Diba, basta ako na comments sa Sabi mo, okay nga yun. Thank you for coming. Uh, si GB, uh, masabi na natin si GB, si Isa Earth, tapos si Melody Molinos, um, Dalai Boko, tapos si Kring Luna, ayan. Okay. Welcome sa inyong lahat. Pagpalaan tayo lahat ng Diyos na Yehova at ng Panginoong Yesus at tayo ay muling um, mag-aaral ng kanyang um, ikilala din natin ang lubusan ng Diyos na Yehova. Napakaganda nitong chapter na ito. So, hi! So, napakaganda nitong chapter na ito. Mag-upisa tayo ka agad para marami tayo mapag-usapang Bible days. Ha? Okay, so... Uh, so, do you have your books now? Malakas ba yung kanya? Malakas ba yung music o okay na? Mga tuwi ni Jojo's, nakikita ko mahapon. Maraming salamat. Oo po na kayo. Get on with your books and we will start shortly. So, um, as a quick review sa ginawa natin, natatapos na natin ang chapters 1 and 2. So, ang chapter 1, pinakilala sa atin, look, This is our God. And then chapter 2. Can you really draw close to God? So di ba pinakilala sa atin, nakita sa natin by, by bird's eye view yung kung gano'ng ka, ka, ka-powerful, kung gano'ng ka-wise. That He is huge. You know? So, um, ngayon na, alam na natin yan. So, Chapter 2, tinalakay natin sa kanya kalakihan. Can we really draw close to him? Pero nasagot din natin, yes, in fact, he is inviting, di ba? So ngayon, dito sa chapter 3, ang aanoyin natin is, ang chapter 3 is holy, holy, holy is Jehovah. Um, na hindi ka pala, nag-uumpisa pala tayo, di ba nga tayo nag-pray, pero you may now sit na agad tayo na napuputol. <laughs> Teka ka, mag magsasara nga ako ng mga apps Bago, maaga tayo na pupuntol May turbulence ka rin Hindi ba tayo lumilipan? May hijacker <laughs> Naku, hijacker Pahinga naman tayo Kapag nagbabago sa study tayo It's Sabbath, huwag tayo na kayo <laughs> Okay 
So, lahat yun na kayo lahat. I think, oh, mag-train muna tayo bago tayo um, magpatuloy sa chapter 3. Magkita gaya na sinasabi ko kanilang ganun chapter 3 because dito sa sabi, ang title is Holy, Holy, Holy is Jehovah. So, emphasized. You can't emphasize it more. He is holy. Pag-aaralan natin ang kanya holiness at ano ang ibig sabihin ito para sa atin. Okay? So, mag-pray mo na tayo bago ang lahat. Jehovah, our God, Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of of the whole universe, the one who causes to become, the one who makes impossible possible. We come to you, Jehovah our God, bowing our heads, asking for your guidance as we study and learn about you, that we may come to know you, because only then we will realize how much loving, how much trustworthy you are as God and as to whoever you want to become to us. Please, um, we thank you also for the whole week. Thank, thank you, Jehovah, for this Sabbath. Now it's time to rest. Now it's time to, to be with you and to be comforted by you. Uh, to be refreshed by you. Uh, we thank you for Sabbath. We thank you also for the whole week's application, for the whole week's uh, grace that we receive from you, that we, that we, that we continue to, to live and even thrive in this turbulent world. Uh, we thank you, Jehovah our God, for the peace that you've given us, for the peace of mind and peace of heart amidst all this confusion and, and hypocrisy. Uh, please bless this study so we will come to know your even a little bit of your wisdom for your wisdom is so great that we can't even we will never understand in our limited minds as people but help us Help us to make a clearer view, to see a clearer view of you through this study. We also thank the publishers of this book and the song that we are hearing at this right now, the Watchtower Bible Tracker Society, for sharing this publication with us as a game, as a guide in, in uh, studying. This we pray in the name of our Lord our King, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Welcome, guys, sa Bibigat ng Hari official YouTube channel sa ating Bible study. This is already our fourth week. So, um, we are getting closer and closer and closer to Jehovah our God each week. Ito yung pinakamaganda doon. Kasi as we get to know Him, I'm sure, kayo, sa inyo lang naman, kayo lang naman ang makakapag sa atin. Nag-uumpisa na ba kayo mag-pray sa Diyos na yun? O, parang personal. So, I guess you have to. Pwede na kayo mag-uumpisa siguro. And see for yourself and feel for yourself. Because the promise of God is, I will let you taste, see and taste the goodness of Jehovah. That's His promise. Alright, so, let's get on with chapter 3. The title is Holy, Holy, Holy is Jehovah. Paragraphs 1 and 2. Isaiah was overcome with awe at a scene before him, a vision from God. It seemed so real. Isaiah later wrote that he actually got to see Jehovah on his lofty throne. Jehovah's flowing rain and filled with huge raiment filled the huge temple in Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 6, 1 and 2. Isaiah also was also awed by what he heard, singing so powerful that it shook the temple to its very foundations. 
I advise you to, if you're not, you don't, if you're listening, not reading, try to close your eyes and envision what I'm reading. It's a very nice vision. So, I will start again. It says in Isaiah, Isaiah was also awed by what he heard. Singing so powerful, it shook the temple to its very foundations. The song was coming from seraphs, spirit creatures of very high rank. Their mighty harmony rang out in words of simple majesty. Holy, holy, holy is Jehovah of armies, the fullness of all the earth in its glory. Is his glory. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 3 and 4. Saying the word holy three times gave it special emphasis, and rightly so, Jehovah is holy to the superlative degree. Revelation chapter 4 verse 8. Jehovah's holiness is emphasized throughout the Bible. Hundreds of verses associate his name with the words holy and holiness. Okay, paragraph 1 and 2, question. What vision did the prophet Isaiah receive? The moon is the first part. What vision did the prophet Isaiah receive? Ano yung vision na makita ni prophet Isaiah? Sino ang nakita niya? Yes, he saw a vision of God, but actually, ano, ano mismo? Very, yung vision niya was very vivid. He didn't just, he didn't see a very, he didn't, he didn't see a, um, yes, but he did see, hindi basta parang God na, like, very, very, very vivid ang nakita niya. Vision of God, yes, but anong classing vision? Where was God? Where is God when he saw? In his lofty throne, very good. In his lofty throne, uh, nakita niya. And then, ano sabi niya? Ano pa ang nakita niya? While nakita niya ang um, uh, Jehovah, when he saw Jehovah God in his lofty throne, ano ang nakita niya? Di ba parang may ano daw eh, may raiment. So it's a vision. Kaya sabi ko, close your eyes, it's a vision. So you see, you see a throne. A very majestic. It's sparkling. Correct. It's sparkling. Tapos may race. Tapos ano ang tinatamaan ng race niya? Ano ang nakita ni Isaiah? Sorry. Ano, <laughs> Sorry. ano ang nakita ni Isaiah? Yung tinatamaan ng race. The Temple of Jerusalem. Being before, before... Maraming mahapang usapan yan. Pero before it was um, parang destroyed by the Romans in 70 CE, yung second temple, kasi the first temple of Jerusalem was destroyed 607 BCE. Then it was rebuilt 70, year, 70 years after. And then it was again destroyed by the Romans, by the Babylonians on the, the first ones. The Babylonians destroyed Jerusalem on 607 BCE, that was the first time. And then the second time was when the Romans um, destroyed Jerusalem and its temple uh, in 70 CE. Diba? So, nung nag exist ang temple, ang ibig sabihin nitong vision na to is, uh, it is nakita ni Isaiah na talagang sa lupa, sa mga templo, sa templo ng Jerusalem, tuon na mamahay ang Diyos na Jehovah. Parang yun ang ibig sabihin ng ray na yun. Okay? So, yun ang, yun ang pangitain. Tapos, um, and what does it teach us? Ah, meron pa. Dalawa yung nakita niya eh. Diba? Dalawa niya. Dalawa. May nakita siya at may narinig siya. Ano ang narinig niya?
the scent of singing powerful. Okay, ha? Nilakasan ko ang volume. Nararamdaman nyo ang hindi pa masyado. Kaya nalakasan natin para ma- to get the point. No way singing is powerful, may energy. Di ba sabi nga nila? Kita nila? But this is nothing. This is nothing. Yan lakas na yan. Gusto na rin yun. Ni Isaiah, sobrang powerful. Na nanginig ang buong templo. Correct. And sad, it, it was the seraphs. The seraphs. Kasi di ba maraming angels? Ang nakita ni Isaiah was the seraphs singing. Sabi nga dito, paano describe ang mga seraphs? Ha? Paano describe ang, ang mga seraphs? Anong sabi? They are angels, yes, but... The seraphs are considered what? At sila ang kumakanta. Hindi lahat ng angels. Sila lang, parang sila ang choir. If they are high rank angels, they're considered high rank. So, may ranking din pala ang mga angels. And definitely, seraphs are nandun sa taas. Sila yung mga... Ano, ano, organization kasi ang Diyos na Yoba, may heavenly organization ang Diyos na Yoba. It's a kingdom. So, naturally, may, may ranking. So, high rank. Yun sila lang ang pwedeng kumanta. In fact, that is a privilege to the seraphs. That they can sing the song. Ano ang, sinis- ano ang lyrics? Ano yung words na paulit-ulit lang daw na kinakanta? Meron tayong sita na araw-araw tayo. E sana makinig para... Nakangin po siya ng panglalapit ng tao na po. Holy... Holy, holy, ano pa? Isang buong phrase yun. Isang buong phrase. Yung, oh, may, may follow up ako dyan sa tatlong holy, holy, holy. Pero ano yung, ano yung buong phrase na paulit-ulit lang na sinasabi? Ha? Ano yung paulit-ulit lang na sinasabi? Isang buong ano yun, isang buong phrase. Kulang pa yan. It's holy, holy, holy is Jehovah or armies. Uh, the fullness of all the earth is His glory. Importante yun. Yun ang paulit-ulit na sinasabi. In other words, this vision shows also kung anong purpose talaga ng, may purpose ng Diyos na Jehovah dito sa lupa. And that, and this earth is meant to be the fullness of His glory. Yun ang pangako ng Diyos na Jehovah. Diba? At yun ang nakita. Ay yun ang paulit-ulit na kinakanta ng mga seraphs. Yes, this is the fullness dito. In other words, kasi guys, you must remember, in the whole wide world, in the whole wide universe, na napakalawa, na hindi nga lang, ang mga scientists ngayon, ang mga, ang mga nasa nasa, litong lito na, kasi parang bigla ngayon, ang dami na palang uh, black hole. So, the, uh, habang umuusad sila, palawak ng palawak ang universe, hindi natatapos. Akala nila hanggang dito lang, pinalaki nila mga telescope nila hanggang mapalawak ng palawak. Pero, may malaking pero, sa buong universo, nandito tayong mga tao. Dito magsisimula ang fullness. Dito nagkukultivate ang Diyos na Europa. Dito kasi may physical manifestation ng kanyang beauty. Di pa walang life. Kaya nga walang mga, wala, na, na, ano, mga scientists, walang life sa, sa, sa wala silang makita ng life other than here. But that will be explained to us later by, by the wisdom of God. Why? 
as of now, it's really as your guess is as good as mine. So you're on. So, um, there's a second part, and what does it teach us about Jehovah? Ano ang titi-teach sa atin? Ito na yung mga sagot ninyo. What does it teach us about Jehovah? Especially do sa phrase. What particular phrase? Ito na yung mga sagot ninyo. What particular words in the phrase were emphasized? Just so, maintindihan ng ni Isaiah who Jehovah is. First and foremost. Ano yung tatlong beses inuli? Ito yung sinasabit ng salita. Holy. Yung salitang holy. Tatlong. Pwede naman kasi holy is hindi. Doon sa sing is holy, holy, holy. It's, you can't emphasize it more. Just to em para maano natin na He is holy. Yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo guys. As much as Jehovah God is inviting and very loving, and very, in fact, He's giving us undeserved kindness. We don't deserve anything from Him. But He's giving us undeserved kindness. But sometimes people think, because He is good and He is love, that He, he can be overstepped. No. He is still God. He still deserves to be respected and be treated as a holy God. You know what I mean? Like, the way we talk to Him, the way we, we, we speak of His name, we, you know, mag-iingat ka. Kasi, sabi ko nga, hindi ka naman pwedeng basta-basta magsalita against or basta sabi mo lang kay, kay, kunyari, kay Daddy Duterte. <laughs> diba? O paring Duterte, paring Trump, paring ganito, paring, hindi. Diba? You will give respect, especially pag tumapa ka na doon sa malakan niya, especially pag humihingi ka ng pabor. Presidente talaga ang tawag mo doon, at saka kung talaga kung pwede ka lang, diba? So, huwag natin kalimutan, ganun din ang Diyos na iyo. Na because He is good, and we wanna get close to Him, we have to respect that holiness. In in the little, most, parang in the little, in the littlest, ways possible na pwede natin magawa ng imperfect na tao. God sees our heart. How much we try to give glory to His holiness. Remember? Remember that example of the Lord Jesus Christ doon sa temple na nakakita siya ng, ng matandang nagbigay ng dalawang barya. Yun ang, yun ang pinuri niya. Di ba? Kasi yung pinanggagali niya. So in other words, kung ano yung ino-offer mo? All right, very good, guys. Chapter, uh, paragraph three. Clearly, then, one of the primary things that Jehovah wants us to grasp about Him is that He is holy. Yet, many today are put off by the very idea. Some mistakenly associate um, holiness with self-righteousness or false piety. People who struggle with a negative view of themselves may find God's holiness more daunting than appealing. They may fear that they could never be worthy of drawing close to this holy God. Hence, many turn away from God because of His holiness. That is sad for God's holiness is really a compelling reason for drawing close to Him. Why? Before we answer that question, let us discuss what true holiness is. Okay, question, paragraph 3. How do mistaken views of Jehovah's holiness lead many to turn away from God instead of drawing close to Him? So how do mistaken views of Jehovah's holiness lead many to turn away from God instead of drawing close to Him? In other words, na intimidate. Ano? What? How? Paano daw? Yung mga mistaken views. What, what are those mistaken views? Oo, oh, oh, 
that, meron, may mga specific. May mga, yun, isa yun, yung may negative views sila sa, mga, mga haters. Yung mga negative ang, negative ang tingin nila sa sarili nila, ang tingin nila sa sarili nila, galit na Diyos. Ang tingin nila sa Diyos, galit na Diyos. Yan, yeah, okay? Uh, false piety, difficult to understand, yung uh, self-righteous. Kaya nagre-reflect sa kanila, napaka-self-righteous. ba? Diba? Paulit-ulit na nga sinasabi ng Diyos na Yehovah, lahat kayo kulang. Ang Panginoong Isus, paulit-ulit na sinasabi, I don't deserve offerings. I want mercy. Yung mga tao nagpapakubaba at humihingi ng tulong. At hindi sinasabi, ah, kaya ko to, I can be perfect. Look at me, perfect. I'm serving God. False. ba? Diba? Yun. Yun ang nagpapatalikot. Kaya kung yun ang makakausap ninyo, talagang ang tatalik, ah, ganyan ba? Kaya ako, ako yung nakinig. Ito yung perfect example, guys. Na kung ako'y nakinig sa mga taong self-righteous, wala. Di ba hanggang ngayon, mababasa ninyo, di ba? Yung magbago ka na, hinihintay ka ng Diyos na Yehova. Apa, walang hinihintay ng Diyos na Yehova. Hindi naman ako humiwalay sa Kanya. Yun ang pinagtataka ko talaga pag sinasabi sa akin, manong balik ka na sa Diyos na Yehova. At ay, hindi ko naman iniwan ng Diyos na Yehova. Maaling yung organisasyon, inilabas ako, pero ako'y kumapit sa Diyos na Yehova. Di ba? Yun ang akin. Kaya, parang, parang mali yung advice na bumalik ka sa Diyos na Yehova kasi hindi, hindi ako umaalis sa tabi ng Diyos na Yehova. Hindi ako makakarating dito, nakikipag-usap sa inyo. Kung umalis ako sa Diyos na Yehova, umalis ako sa Diyos na Yehova, hindi ako kausap. Aba, eh, nandun, nag-mental breakdown na siguro ako, o... Sir, paulit-ulit ko na ba sinasabi ito? Kasi totoo. Diba? Yung... Hindi ko kakayanin. Hindi ako magmamalaki na, ah, kaya-kaya ko kasi... Kaya-kaya ni Ruston kasi ganit. Sinabi ko na nga sa inyong hirap na hirap si Ruston. <laughs> kaya nga nakita. Malalaman natin lahat yan sa Bibian ka, pero doon ko kasi natutunan yung kabaitan ng Diyos na ninyo. Tinignan niya ang puso ko. At saka niya sinabi, Arika, I will cause you to be God. Thank you, Jehovah. So, uh, What is holiness? Ano yun natin? Talakay natin sa chapter 4 and 5. That God is holy does not mean that He is smug, haughty, or disdainful of others. On the contrary, He hates such qualities. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 5 James chapter 4 verse 6 So what does the word holy really mean? In Biblical Hebrew, the word is derived from a term meaning separate. In worship, holy applies to that which is separated from common use or held sacred. Holiness also strongly conveys the idea of gladness and purity. How does this word apply to Jehovah? Does it mean that He is separate from imperfect humans, far removed from us? Paragraph 5. Not at all. As the Holy One of Israel, Jehovah described Himself as dwelling in the midst of His people, sinful through they were, though they were. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 6. Hosea chapter 11, verse 9. So His holiness does not make Him distant. How then is He separate? In two important ways, in two important ways, sabi. First, He is separate from all creation in that He alone is the Most High. His purity, His cleanness, His absolute, is absolute and infinite. Psalm chapter 40 verse 5 chapter 
verse 18. Second, Jehovah is entirely separated from all sinfulness. And that is comforting. And that is a comforting thought. Why? Question. Letter A. What does holiness mean? Dun muna tayo. What does holiness mean? Means separate. Very good. And then, what does it not mean? So if if it means separate, what it does what does it not mean? Yes, he is separate because in pure in spirit, yes, but what does it not mean? In being separate doesn't mean what? Does be Ibig bang sabihin ng separate, eh, mahirap siyang maarok? Mahirap siyang maintindihan? Na he seems to be distant. Yo, very good. So, though being holy is being separate, that doesn't mean he's distant. Kuha nyo? Diba? Very ano siya. Um, napaka, napaka interesting okay, so talakay mo natin so ano ibig sabihin ngayon yung separate then if he's not distant if that doesn't mean being distant what does being separate mean ayan na yung mga sinasabit nyo kanina Sabi dito, tama yung sagot nyo kanina. He is, his purity. Yun ang separate. His purity, his cleanness is absolute and infinite. Siya lang yun. He is separated. Yun lang yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Kung bibigyan natin ng pagpapahalaga kapag meron tayong pagkakataon na makakilala ng isang mataas na opisyal, presidente na, sabihin na natin, tumodo na tayo, presidente. Pero hindi siya absolute. Eh, how much more? Diba? So, yung dapat ang klase ng sacredness na the way natin siya ikiki, um, we pers- the way we will perceive Him, that kind of holiness, not just, not being distant, but it's just that He is really pure. Sabi dito, totally separated from what is He says, also yung yung um, ano yung pinaka um, not um, not separate from all creation in fact in fact he he is in the midst of his creation but sabi dito he is separated from That's why he's pure. He's never. No, no, no. He he actually he actually dwells in the midst of sinful people. From all sinfulness, very good. He is separated from all sinful. Hindi siya nakakasala. He is pure. He is perfect. So in other words. Kung ang presidente na nagkakasala, binibigyan natin ng respeto ng tamang, ng tamang pagpupugal, how much more sa isang, at pwede natin itulig ng mabait, eh how much more sa isang Diyos na hindi nagkakasala, 
perfect. So in other words, mabait itong Diyos na to. Yun ang, yun ang, yun ang sigurado ka agad. Mabait itong Diyos na to. So yun ang ibig sabihin ng pagiging, uh, ang tawag dito, pagiging separate, clear, uh, pakireport nyo yung mga ao uh, na kung mahiyan naman kayo, para nakakaya. Pero, wala na ang Diyos sa inyo. Hindi ka natakot, ha? Ako ang natatakot pa sa inyo. <laughs> Ako kasi, amongst all sa live stream ko, honestly, this is the this is the hour that I feel most safe. Because I know we are being secured. Kasi wala naman tayo ginagawa ng masama. Hindi pa. I think sa ibang live stream, pwede mo gawin na. Pero wag naman dito. I respeto naman natin kung ano yung pinag-aaratan. Kasi wala naman talaga tayong ginagawang ibang. Ano. Okay. So, um, gusto mo makinig ka. Thank you sa nag-report. Thank you. Okay, dito na tayo sa six. We live in a world um, we live in a world where true holiness is a rarity. Pakinggan dito itong paragraph na ito. Let go na tayo. Oh, let go na tayo. Dito na tayo mag-concentrate. Uh, okay na. Anyways, I can uh-oh. Pwede naman yan mamaya solusyonan. Uh, mag-concentrate na tayo dito. We live in a world where true holiness is Yaya ka, tumitin mo. Number six. In fair, di ba ngayon si Yaya, ngayon lang siya. Ano? Um, mga asa. May sariling sika. Ito, sa pakinggan natin itong paragraph six, napakagang ganito. We live in a world where true holiness is a rarity. Everything about human society alienated from God is polluted in some way, tainted with sin and imperfection. We all have to war against the sin within us, and all of us are in danger of being overcome by sin if we let down our guard. Romans chapter 7, 15 to 25, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. Jehovah is no such danger, completely removed from sinfulness. He will never be tainted by the slightest trace of sin. This reaffirms our impression of Jehovah as the ideal father, for it means that he is completely reliable. Unlike many sinful human fathers, Jehovah will never turn corrupt, dissolute, or abusive. His holiness makes such any such thing quite impossible. Jehovah has on occasion even sworn oath by his own holiness, for nothing could be more trustworthy. Amos chapter 4 verse 12. Is that not reassuring? What a beautiful chapter. I hope that pakinggan niyo kasi this is really one chapter that um very day assuring. Chapters, uh, paragraph 6, question. Why can we find comfort in Jehovah's absolute separation from sinfulness? Why can we find comfort in Jehovah's absolute separation from sinfulness? Ano ba ang nakikita natin dito sa mundo ngayon? 
So, bago usapan natin to, completely reliable. Pero, bago tayo manunya, para makita natin na importante yung Diyos na Yehovah more than ever at this point. Kasi, he is real. Kasi ano ba ang mundo kayo? Di ba na pinag-uusapan natin to every day, especially dun sa mornings? Di ba ang mundo baliktad na? Ang tama, mali, ang mali, tama na. Di ba? Noon, makikip, kailangan makipagkilala ka sa basta baliktad na, baliktad na, baliktad na ang 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 mundo ngayon. So napakahira magtiwala. Di ba? Kasi kayote, wala na ipokit ang It's a crazy world. Wala nang totoo halos. Ang lies, yun na ang totoo. Yung totoo, ayaw na paliwalaan. Ginagawang pilipilit at ginagawang kasinungalingan. You know what I mean? Yung fake news all the time. It's fake, fake, fake. Everything is fake. Diba? At yun na yung parang dati. Ito, no offense, man. I mean, makikisuyo. Pero totoo, dati, Nung seven, in layman's term ito ha, nung 70s, 80s, sa pag-artista, kapag may ginawa sa mukha mo, salamat po, doktor ka nun. Tapos, naku, sekreto mo yan, hindi kasi sira ng karir mo yan. Ngayon, hindi. Mientras, marami kang pinagawa, ibig sabihin, marami kang pera, pwede, ka mag, pwede mong uh, anuhin. So, uh, wag yun ang pansinin tulad. Never mind. Let's just, um, let's continue. Madali naman yan. Uh-oh. Don't, ano lang yan. Uh-oh. So, yung, um, wala nang, wala nang truth. Yung ang hirap na makisama. Wala na yung, ito talaga masasabi ko. Iba. Ito kasi pinag-aaralan to, namin ito noong 80s, 90s. But it's never been worse. You know what I mean? Ngayon, makita mo talaga ang tao. Literal na. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang hirap na lumabas ngayon kasi pag lumabas ka, ang tao galit. Noong pag ang tao lumabas ka, nakamiti sa'yo. Di ba? Oo. So, uh, Pasama ng pasama. Oo, oh, oh, parang yung ganito, di ba? So, I would suggest that tayo mga nag-aano, please, huwag niyong, huwag niyong pabayaan na siratin yung pag-Bible study niyo. Kasi pag sumagot kayo, nagagalit kayo. So, hayaan niyo na. just ignore. Kasi pag inano nyo, o di, babalik na rin pa kayo, kayo pa ang me. Diba? So just ignore. Huwag uh, niyong pabayaan maapektuhan kayo. Meron talagang papasok na ganyan. Ignore it. Pabayaan nyo. Oo. I mean, ayan, tignan nyo na ano na tayo. Diba? So kailangan nyo rin i-hold on kay tayo ang magka-control ng reaction natin minsan especially kung is ordinary live stream to we can but we are oh we are studying so you can't be you can't be I also you can't be talking back sa ako stop na yung ano nakikiusap ako sa mga sumasagot nasa oo parang pag pumatol kayo sino natalo sino natalo oh. 
Kasi kung siya lang yung nagsasalita, hindi tayo magpuputol. Pero sumagot kayo in the middle of start. So, ako nga tignan nyo, dahil kayo yung nag-react, ako yung na-affect doon. Kasi kayo yung nag-react. Don't react. Lagay natin sa, lagay natin sa lugar ng lahat. Okay? Um, sit, sit. May time for everything. Let's start from ourselves. Kung in the middle of Bible study, na-affectuhan tayo, eh di wala tayo pinagkaiba. Although hindi naman tayo perfect. Mas may responsibilidad tayo, guys. Kasi supposed to be tayo yung mas nakakaintindi. Tayo yung nagbabible study. So we need to be, we need to be careful. You cannot be, di ba, kung gusto nyo magpalabas, kung talagang may ito, eh, nandito naman ako, eh, nagawa na nga ni Yaya eh. Saan na tayo napunta ngayon? Sa basher. So that's why I'm telling you, this is not easy. You have to be, ano, yung, those who are really interested, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. And even I, naputo na tayo. It's not easy. Nababalik tayo ulit. Diba? Piloto na tayo. Nagtagumpay na sila. Kasi we reacted. There's a time for everything. There's a time for everything. Nalulungkot ako. Hindi, lang, hindi ito calmness. Nalulungkot ako. Kasi naputol tayo. You have to respect as much as may basher. basher you have to respect also yung the conversation that's going on. Let's, let's make this um, let's remember this. Remember, tayo ang nagbabasa ng Bible. Tayo dapat ang nagko-control. Okay? We cannot be kung gusto natin magpalabas ng tao, we cannot also be rude. Diba? Yung... Pwede naman makinig na lang, kahayaan nyo na ako. Ginawa ko na nga yung ginagawa ko. Kasi, come on. How can you even concentrate on me kung ang pinapakinggan nyo yung basher? Lalo na yung mga, ano sa araw-araw kong kasama. What you do is also a reflection of me. Alam ko na bibiro ako minsan, sinasabi ko, pag may basya, basya ba? Not time now. It's a Bible study. And I'm not taking this lightly, guys. As I said, I'm not even doing this for viewers. Hindi ba? Kung nakoconcentrate ka. And also, watch your words. Labas kay, labas, layas. Dapat sa atin ang nagaling yung pahinauna. Kaya tayo nagbabay po ng study, pinag-aaralan natin maging mabuting tao. 
hindi para maging suplado at unwelcoming. Diba? We, uh, kasama ako doon. Our actions speak, should speak louder than our words. And of course, ah, sorry, sabi ko sa inyo. Correct. Kung ang Diyos natin ay kind, we have to be kind. Kung ang Panginoon natin ay kind, we have to be kind. Minsan natitikon tayo, minsan ganyan, okay, give it. Pero if in the middle of the Bible study, you can't hold on your rip. Hindi mo maano ang ano. Sabi ko, ilang ulit ko naman sinasabi sa'yo. Kaya naman i-remove mamaya yan. May mawawala ba kung nakinig lang tayo? May masasabi pa siyang ikamamatay ko? Wala naman. Ito pa. And siyempre yung enemy, correct? Sino to? Correct. Siyempre si Satan, ayaw nang nakikita itong ginagawa natin. It doesn't like this. He doesn't want the world to get to know Jehovah God. So, kagamitin niya yung mga tao to disturb us. That's why we're praying. That's why we always pray. Di ba yun ang sinasabi ko nga? Sabi ko, ang nagtunin niyo, napaka-weird. Sabi ko pa, this is the most secure. Sinabi ko na nga, inassure ko na nga kayo, don't be afraid. This is the most, this is the most secure time that we have during live stream. I already reassured you. And let the bashers listen, correct? Kasi alam niyo naman, hindi rin naman ako sasagot. At saka, hayaan niyo yung Diyos ang makipag-usap sa kanila. Kaya nga natin, pinagpapa sa Diyos. Nalulungkot ako kasi ayaw ko nang ganyan. Ayaw ko nang nakikipag-away. Nagbibiro ako pag sinasabi ko, oh, bash them back, bash them back. Miss, I'm sorry if kung sasabi ko yun, hindi ko, hindi ko minimin yun. You shouldn't take it literally. Hindi na naman tayo nagpapasalplight yun. Diba? Yung mga, I mean, hindi rin ako natutuwa sa kanila, pero hindi ka pwede magpa-affect. Especially ito, kung regular live stream to, madali. That's why this is a Bible study. Kaya ako pinagtanong, pumasok na bago, what's going on? Huwag yung susot na dahan. Sabihin niyo, we're having a Bible study now. Kung hindi ko man nakikita, ang dali sagutin na gano'n, we're having a Bible study now. Please join, please listen. You can observe. Ganun na mga sagot. Okay. So. It's fine. In other words, the point dito is a Bible study. Don't be bothered. Dapat nakakonsentrate kayo. Don't be bothered. Ako, pag nakakonsentrate ako, nakakagulo na sa buong kapagigilan ako, hindi focus ako. Hanggat hindi ako nag-bother. I understand your concern. But you know, I mean, I'm the least bothered. Ang dami na nasabi sa atin. But ang Bible study, I am requesting, huwag tayong padadala sa 
Kasi yun ang gagamitin, lalo nakikita, di ba? Nagpisan mo na kung hindi ako namapektuhan sa basher sa... Since when? Since when? Napa? So I hope next week hindi ito mangyayari. Please, I'm telling you, I'm asking you, please pray even before you you come on your own personal prayers. As much as we pray here, pray also before you come. Kasi hindi, hindi biro pag-aralan ng Diyos na iho. But that's what I'm trying to emphasize. As I'm saying, pinag-uusapan pa lang pa natin ang purity and everything. Being, His being holy. That alone. So, um, tapos si natin sa hanggang paragraph 7. And then, uh, let this be a lesson learned. And hopefully, uh, next week, ma- ma- ano to, expect it. Marami mang bukulo. Kasi, um, I couldn't emphasize it more. So, mag-iingat tayo sa reaction. At dito ang tatandaan nito. You can only control your reaction, not other people's. Okay? Seven. Holiness is intrinsic to Jehovah's very nature. What does that mean? To illustrate, consider the words man and imperfect. You cannot describe the former without invoking the latter. Imperfection pervades us and colors everything we do. Now, consider two different words, Jehovah and Holy. Holiness pervades Jehovah. Everything about Him is clean, pure, and upright. We cannot get to know Jehovah as He really is without coming to grips with His profound word, Holy. Okay. Question. Why can it be said that holiness is intrinsic to Jehovah's nature? Ano yung example na binigay dito? Bago tayo tumungo. Ano, ano daw, saan kinocompare? Yung kapag inisip mo yung word na man, anong ini-invoke doon? Yung parang hindi mo sila mapaghihiwalay in other words. Yung man and imperfect. Diba yun yung example yun? Pag sila yung man, ako oh, imperfect. Yun yun eh. Diba? Tayo yun. That's why, lagi natin tandataan, we are imperfect. Until dumating sa point that ginawa na tayong perfect. But ngayon, we are imperfect. Far from being perfect. Far from it. Diba? So, ang, ang, ang Diyos na Jehovah, parang ganun din. Pag sinabi mo Jehovah, holy. You know what I mean? Pag sinabi mo tao, imperfect. Right away, tao ka, imperfect. Makasalanan ng tao nga, diba? Pero pag sinabi mo, Jehovah, ah, holy. It pervades yung, yung, yung ganong klaseng, um, it invokes, ini-invoke niya ang holiness. Okay. Like a man, ini-invoke niya ang sinfulness. Okay. And then, um, uh, Saya, kanina naputol tayo kasi napakagandang chapter nung chapter 6 because dito din discuss yung because of his um, being separate from sinfulness I just wanna emphasize that bago tayo matapos yung um, balikan natin yung chapter 6 why can we find comfort in Jehovah's absolute separation from sinfulness? Aside from Kratini, pinag-uusapan natin kasi dito sa mundo, baliktad na. Kung ano na yung tama, yun na yung mali. Yung mali, magiging tama. 
um, kaya yung trust issues natin bilang mga tao kasi pati yung mga magulang, yung mga ganyan yung magkaka, magkaka, magkakaroon at magkakaroon ka ng ng disappointment But because he is pure makakaasa tayo may re, may ma, na, 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 na reassure tayo na Jehovah will be good Jehovah God will be good now ngayon kung meron tayong abusive father then Jehovah being he he causes to become so he can be your father so definitely he will be a good father to you those are the reassurance ito ka ina-assure diba na wow doon mo makikita na okay I'm in good stead Diba? Kaya ito rin yung pinagagalingan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo noon yung relasyon ni nung batang si Rosto. Kasi nung, kung si, nung yung batang yung batang 3 years old na si Rosto ay nung nakita na kagdabit pang babae ng makalupang tatay niya ay binubog siya at sinaktan. Nagpakilala ang Diyos na Yehova muli sa batang yon Pero ngayon, hindi na niya sinaktan yung bata. Kinausap niya yung bata. That's how good Jehovah God is. Literal. Diba? So yun yung gusto kong i-emphasize doon. Kasi yan ang pwede natin ibaon. Napaka- dito na natin i-end tong Bible study muna natin. So naka-cover tayo ng 1 to 7. Dapat sana hanggang 13 tayo. Pero medyo naputol tayo. But it's okay. Um, it's enough na para pag-uwi natin tonight and to ponder upon over the weekend and um, to, re- to realize even more how good Jehovah is. And continue to pray. Lalo na sa nangyari ngayong gabi, continue to pray na yung, yung kindness ng Diyos, eh, kasi pinapaano mo naman yan, eh, pinag-pray niya, footage of the Spirit yan eh. Diba? Kindness, footage of the Spirit. That's why you, you, you pray for the Spirit. But, again, but then again, when you pray for that, tinuturuan ka unti-unti. So tinuturuan tayo ngayon. Let's take this as a, um, as a um, uh, learning experience to handle these things better. As I've said, um, this is a very interactive vlog that I'm doing. So we cannot we cannot um, expect na perfect tayo all the time. May papasok na papasok na magugulo. It is up to us to handle ourselves well. To help me to, rep- to represent this channel well. Diba? Yung um, if you want to show love, ano sabi ng Panginoon? Love your enemies. Ang hirap sundin mo ang totoo. Pero siguro pwede natin umpisahan na habang nandito tayo sa loob ng channel ko, eh tayo ay kontrolado. Pwede tayo dito mag-control ng mga sarili. Kasi alam mo may nagpo-protect na sa atin. Umpisahan natin dito sa channel. Patunayan natin na meron tayong tiwala sa Diyos. Okay? I speak. Sumasagot ako sa mga issues sa atin. Hindi ako nang babash ng tao. Okay. Kung meron ako mga birong binibitawan, I mean, hindi ako para pumunta sa ibang channel para mambash. Pero sumasagot ako at uh, I'm, I'm saying what's in my heart. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, makikipagsabay ang tayo. Okay. Liwanagin natin ng mabuti. para. Kasi mahirap itong ginagawa natin. Totoo yun. Kaya nga tayo nag- nag-aaral ng ganito. Napakahirap. Napakahirap sumunod sa mabuti sa mundong ito. Yun ang katotohanan. Yun ang buod nito pinag-uusapan natin. Di ba? Yun yung, yun yung paragraph C. Sa mundong ito, napakahirap maging mabuting tao. Kasi pagsasabad ka lang ka, lulukohin ka, ibabash ka, ihit ka. Kaya kailangan natin ng tulong. Oo, hanggat makakahimi tayo ng tulong na 
we can keep it cool. Let's keep it cool. Okay. Um, so thank you sa inyong lahat guys sa pagpunta sa pagdalong ninyo, sa pagkipag-Bible study niyo sa akin uh, as we get to know Jehovah our God at He teaches us diba? Um, of His way, hindi madali. Ito na kayo mga perfect example sa pinagdadaanan natin. Uh, to handle these things is not even easy. Okay? So, uh, but let us be a lesson learned and continue to rely on God's um, grace na tayo um, maging masumputing tao. Diba? Sabi kasi di ba ng Panginoon, love your enemies. Because if, if, if you will only love your people that who loves you, what what difference that you make? Was it, ano ang diferensya mo sa ibang bansa? Di ba? Sa mga taong para ibang bansa. Yun ang sabi ng Panginoon. Pero napakahirap mo kasi talaga naman may mga taong makakainis. Pero, the mere fact that we're acknowledging it, God sees our heart, maybe. I mean, you work on your heart. One day you realize, ah, hindi ka na-apektado. Di ba ganun na lang yun? So, happy Sabbath, guys. Um, pwede nyo reviewin ulit yung 1 to 7. Tuloy nyo na yung hanggang ano, uh, yung tapusin nyo buong paragraph as I've said, pwede nyo i-download itong book na to para mapag-aralan ninyo para hindi rin tayo na na nadadivert uh, so so yun uh, I really want to uh, uh, parang mer- ang ano ko talaga is pag-aralan natin ang just na yun but we can't go wrong guys we can't really go wrong and then from there, mini kay ng tulong. What, what is the way? Where is the way? Hindi naman ako yan. But I'm trying to to at least lead us to one God that can help us to lead us closer to the Lord. Kung saan ang salvation, di ba? But as of now, this is not really about religion, but getting to know the God who can help us. Okay? So let's pray now. Uh, Jehovah our God, God Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, the most beautiful one, the, the holy, the holy, 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 is your name, Jehovah. You are the purest. You are the good. You are good. As the Lord says, who's good? Only one is good. God. Thank you, Jehovah our God, for this time. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to to learn about you, to to more know to know more about your traits and your reassurances to us. That even if our fathers and our mothers forsake us, or has pers- or abused us, but you will be the great father. You will be the good father that we that we will only need. So please, Jehovah God, bless this Sabbath. Let this be a time of rest and a time of um, of um, pondering and meditation that we may continue to discern your wisdom and your, your knowledge as we continue to find our salvation, to seek our salvation. And this we pray through our Lord and our Christ, through your undeserved kindness. Please pray for us, the Lord Jesus Christ. Please grant us mercy because we are imperfect and sinful. Please grant us your undeserved kindness. Thank you. Amen. Thank you guys. Thank you. Magpasalam po, Oteka. Uh, gusto ko rin mag- isama natin sa prayer. Kanina ko pa dapat isasama ito. Lagi ko nakakalimutan. But let's also pray yung mga naapektuhan. Grabe ang sunog ngayon dito sa Amerika. 
So, I think meron tayong isang part ng bibigan ng Harry Channel. Um, si Susa na Susa. I hope, uh, I hope you're in good, uh, malayo ka sa, sa anumang, um, discretion at imminent danger. Please keep safe and please continue to pray. Jehovah our God, please continue to uh, secure and safeguard people who are calling your name for safety in this time of distress. Amidst this pandemic and now this bushfire, it's bushfire season. So it's getting worse. It's hot. Today is 106. So napakaiti. So please, Jehovah our God, please help us and save us from this uh, distress. Again, we pray for our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Alright. Uh, guys, maraming salamat sa ating super channels. Magpapasalamat muna ako sa super channels bago ang lahat-lahat. Si Nora Madori, number one fan. Thank you, Nora. Si Vanessa Hernandez. Thank you, Vanessa. Queen BB, sorry po. Sorry. It's okay, Vanessa. Uh, they just finished my duty in the ICU. I'm very blessed to be able to attend the Bible study. Long live BB Nation and Queen BB. Thank you, Vanessa. Si Jenny T. Sorry, late reply later. Replay later. Thank you, Jenny. It's okay. Uh, si Glenda. Hi, Glenda. Thank you. Thank you sa inyong lahat. Okay, so... um. Sa lahat ng nagpunta, sa lahat ng mga nakinig, sa lahat ng mga sumagot, maraming 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 salamat sa inyo. May God, may Jehovah God bless us all. Uh, bless this night and sa, sa ibang bansa naman, umaga sa inyo, maging maganda sana inyong araw. Magkikita uh, kita tayo bukas, of course, okay? Sa isang, ano naman tayo, happy tayo, ano, ibang... Ibang happiness naman tayo si celebrate natin si Iman bukas. So stay, uh, that will be 8 o'clock sa ano ng Bibi Uncut. Iman Uncut is 15 years of celebration ito kay Iman. So, uh, ano naman tayo, ano tayo bukas, hang out naman tayo bukas. Ano naman to, uh, ngayon is food for the soul. Bukas naman is, um, uh, Baka food for the soul din, pero please, ano naman yan, human interaction. Yung tayo-tayo ng, dyan tayo hihingi na i-bless naman yung ating pagbiget together. Alright? Kaya yung sinasabi ko, this hour, bigay natin sa Diyos. Kasi meron tayong aking na araw na tayo-tayo. Diba? Itong oras, itong isang oras na to, ito lang yung hihiling ko na ibigay natin ng buong puso sa Diyos na ito. At sa Panginoon Jesus. Okay? Maraming maraming salamat guys. We will have fun tomorrow. As much as we had fun today, more than, I mean, sabi ko, this is the funnest hour sa akin sa buong linggo. This is what I look forward to because this is one that I, I get refreshed and get strengthened. So I hope you feel the same. Okay guys, I love you and I will see you again tomorrow. Let's have a restful Friday Sabbath, basically. Okay? Bye guys, love you! Ganda ng music kanina, no? Sa mga hindi pa nag-dinner, mag-dinner na kayo. Bye!